What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and the Fantastic Four cast has officially been announced, but we only have the members of the Fantastic Four announced. And of course, there is going to be a villain or villains in the movie. And from recent reports, it sounds like the answer is villains. With the recent rumors looking to be true that the villain of the film is going to be Galactus and the Silver Surfer, plus possibly, possibly... Doctor Doom. We had heard Marvel Studios had plans for Doom possibly, and now, according to a recent insider, it sounds like those plans are indeed coming to fruition. Now, first and foremost, I am sure you have heard by now, but in case you haven't, the official cast has been announced, and Pedro Pascal is Reed Richards, Vanessa Kirby is Sue Storm, and I absolutely love that casting choice, Joseph Quinn is the Human Torch, and I am definitely open to seeing what he can bring to the table, and Ibon Mas Bakrach is going to be playing the thing. And I really like this casting because one, I think he's going to do a good job. I think he's a great actor, but two, I really like that he was in the Punisher series as micro microchip. So I think it's kind of cool. Plus, of course, we know that he's going to be probably CGI. Maybe they do a combination of a suit and CGI for the thing, but I'm assuming they're going to do it like the Hulk. So mostly mocap and CGI. So that is our official cast and Marvel Studios did announce this themselves on Valentine's Day. They released a few posters and a brand new logo for the Fantastic Four movie. But now, of course, the question is, well, who are the villains going to be? Well, like I said, seems like we have our answer for that. Galactus, the Silver Surfer, and possibly a little quick cameo for Doom, possibly in the post credit scene. Of course, we're going to get to that in this video, but it looks like we might have casting news on who could be playing Galactus. In fact, it sounds like Marvel Studios has the actor in mind. They want to play him and or just voice him over. And according to Jeff Insider from the Insider.com, Marvel Studios is still looking at Javier Bardem as their top choice for the role of Galactus in the Fantastic Four movie as the main villain. According to Jeff Snyder, Marvel is currently trying to figure out his schedule due to his involvement with a different film. So Javier Bardem, right away, go ahead and let me know what you think about this in the comments. Think of his voice. Do you think he would make a great Galactus? I personally think he'd do a really good job, but I was really kind of set on either Liam Neeson or or Antonio Banderas playing Galactus. Having said that, Javier Bardem does have a really nice deep voice, and I think if he enunciates very clearly, then he could do a really good job. Now, this is the next step in Marvel Studios' process for the casting of the Fantastic Four. They have locked in the first family, the actual Fantastic Four team. Now they are trying to find the rest of the cast, but obviously the villains are the next important casting, so that is happening right now. And with this, as I mentioned, also comes the news that they are currently casting for the Silver Surfer right now. Now, we've heard rumors about this before, but this report basically confirms that the two villains of the film are indeed going to be Galactus and the Silver Surfer, which makes sense because, of course, Galactus has a herald. The recent reports we've heard is that Marvel Studios is considering casting a female Silver Surfer, having a female version of the character. Nothing has been reported about that recently with this casting news, but that is something to keep in mind. And again, also keep in mind, as I've said before, and as it really does appear to be now, this Fantastic Four movie, the Fantastic Four team, is most likely going to take place in a separate universe than the 616 MCU. Since we're in the multiverse saga and since we're dealing with Avengers Secret Wars, it looks like at some point in time the multiverse will indeed collapse and they will end up in the same universe or maybe void in space time, not existing in any universe like where the TVA is located, and ultimately they will be with the Avengers and the other characters from our universe. Then after the soft reboot, after Avengers Secret Wars, they will basically remain in the same universe that our Avengers and other characters are going to continue on. So the Silver Surfer that we're going to see in the film and Galactus that we are going to see in the film are probably not going to roll over into the main universe moving forward after Secret Wars like the Fantastic Four are going to. So I'm okay with it not being Norn Rad, the main Silver Surfer, because he could exist in the new universe that we continue on in, along with a new Galactus as well, because that's very important. We don't want Galactus to to just appear in one movie and then be done. We would love him to be a big bad, or at least be bigger than just one movie. And we definitely don't want him as a giant cloud. 
Please hear us, Marvel. But with the Fantastic Four casting news, some people are thanking Ryan Gosling because we know that Ryan Gosling has been meeting with Marvel Studios pretty frequently over the past year or so. Now, I will interrupt this Fantastic Four video to talk about Ghost Rider real quick because, according to recent reports, we are indeed getting Ghost Rider in the MCU relatively soon and that Marvel Studios is actually looking for an actor right now to play Ghost Rider in the MCU. So I'm sure Ryan Gosling is actually being considered for both roles. As we've stated many times on the channel, as most of you probably know, Kevin Feige meets with a lot of actors for a lot of different roles until they find the perfect role. So I'm sure he's being considered for both. Perhaps one of these is the role that will get Ryan Gosling in the MCU. It could be the Silver Surfer, but it also could be Ghost Rider. But I hope I hope it's not Dr. Doom. I love Ryan Gosling. I don't think he would be the man for Dr. Doom. And according to another report from Jeff Snyder, the same one who reported these last two about the Silver Surfer and Galactus, according to him, Doom will reportedly appear in the Fantastic Four, but at the very end of the film. This is in line with other reports that we've had in the past, that he might just simply cameo in the Fantastic Four for like five seconds, or maybe they just simply mention his name, Victor Von Doom. But keep in mind, and if you don't know this, let me explain, Victor Von Doom, Doctor Doom, is basically one of the main characters in Avengers Secret Wars. He's pretty much the main villain in both of the Secret Wars stories from the comics. Now, obviously, the MCU is doing it differently, as they should. Obviously, Kang is seemingly still going to be the main focus, and a Beyonder Kang variant seems to be the main villain of the entire multiverse saga and Secret Wars. But they should definitely have Doctor Doom in it, especially after that Doctor Doom Secret Wars Easter egg in the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer. We talked about this in the breakdown, but if you missed it, at the very end of the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, Wolverine throws Deadpool through a wall. Deadpool is laying on the ground, and as Wolverine walks up and we see a shadow, you can take a look on the left here and you can see a Secret Wars comic. But this specific comic they used is Secret Wars number 5 of 8, with Doctor Doom's face on the cover. So what we are looking at here is a pretty big Doctor Doom Easter egg. And we know that Deadpool and Wolverine, the movie, is going to directly set up a Avengers Secret Wars. It's even been reported that Deadpool and Wolverine are going to show a lot of universes kind of coming together, collapsing. A lot of the heroes will be taken from a lot of different universes and come into one place. So perhaps if the Fantastic Four film really does take place in another universe and they get brought into some area with all these other heroes, Doctor Doom will join them. Yes, Reed Richards is the smartest man alive, but don't forget, Doctor Doom is incredibly smart as well. He even attended college with Reed Richards. He's insanely smart as well. And he's also a sorcerer, so I'm not sure how they're going to portray him in the Fantastic Four film, but if their universe is about to collapse, I'm sure Doctor Doom would know this. And since he does know how smart Reed is, and perhaps he has some sort of specific technology in the movie, he might go to the Fantastic Four to see what's up and possibly even try to save his life. And that could take him over into whatever universe they end up in and bring him into Secret Wars, maybe not as a main villain, but simply as one of the many different cameos that we are going to see in that movie. So according to Jeff Snyder, they are going to cast for Doom later on in production of the film, which makes sense since he's only going to appear at the very end, maybe even a post credit scene, probably only get 10 seconds on screen if that. It makes sense that they would get the rest of the cast locked in before, obviously. But this does make me even more excited for the Fantastic Four. We've had a lot of great things happen this week, and this is just one more thing to make it awesome. So let me know your thoughts about the cast and the casting choices in the comments down below. Would you like to see Ryan Gosling play the Silver Surfer? And would you like to see Javier Bardem as Galactus? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on the Fantastic Four and the MCU. You. We are also giving away a PS5, an Xbox Series X, and some Marvel Legends items. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. We pick one winner at the end of each month. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf.